Hello folks and welcome to another sketchbook club. This week we're going to be painting a beautiful Indian elephant using a wealth of different materials to create this stunning sparkly painting. So you will need an HB pencil, a set of gouache paints, your size 1 and size 6 paintbrushes, a set of colour pencils and a pair of scissors. You'll need some PVA or craft glue and a brightly coloured pen for the decorative border. Completely optional but I've also used some fluorescent pink paint too to give the colours a bit of a boost. Finally and most importantly you'll need some sparkly things like sequins, glittery paper and sweet wraps. You'll also need a sheet of tracing paper for my top collage tip. Now tracing paper and sequins etc can be really expensive so on the website I put together a sparkly things kit which includes two free pages of low grade tracing paper to make things easier and a bit cheaper. So first of all print out your elephant transfer reference sheet and instructions. Then as per the instructions start to transfer your elephant to your page. Now you're ready to add colour. Mix a nice grey using black and white gouache and a dash of water and paint the elephant's body face and trunk. I used both my size 6 and 1 brushes and don't worry about shading, we'll add colour pencil details later. Next start to add the finery. Have a really good look at the reference sheet too so you can plan your elephant's costume exactly how you want it. Using gouache and an optional dash of brightly coloured paint add as much colour as you can. Don't worry too much about painting in details as we're going to add sparkles and colour pencils later. When all the bright colours are finished you can now add your shading and definition on the elephant's body. I used a grey coloured pencil and I added highlights with a white coloured pencil. Have a good look at the shading on my elephant as an example. Using your pencils you may also like to add shading or patterns and details on the elephant's costumes too. When the paint is dry you're ready to add the sparkly bits. Now I've got a great tip for this. Place a piece of tracing paper over the area you wish to cover and draw around it carefully. Hold the tracing paper piece over the shiny paper and cut around it really carefully making sure the two pieces don't move around. This means that when you secure it to the area it will fit perfectly. Use PVA or craft glue as it's sometimes called to stick down your embellishments. Sequins and stars look great too. Have a real rummage around, even silver foil works well and anyone who knows me will know that I always try and sneak in a Tunnix tea cake wrapper whenever I'm using collage. Basically whatever you can get your hands on that is sparkling shiny will look wonderful. Once all the glittery shiny pieces have been added you might like to add some more paint or pencil details. Have a really good look at the reference sheet for inspiration. Finally looking at the reference around the elephant transfer page start to draw in the decorative border. I used a red fibre tip pen but any fine tip pen should do. Treat it like a doodle, it'll add to the painting's charm and as a finishing touch you may like to add a few splashes of colour when your border is complete. And there you have it, your finished masterpiece. I absolutely loved how everyone's was so different when we did this in my studio. People used a lot of different colours and styles and I cannot wait to see yours so please do share your masterpiece using the hashtag sketchbook club elephant. Have fun and I'll see you at the next sketchbook club.